So first step is just take your mattress off. Um, then just move your the whole frame to the side. You'll then get two of these end pieces. Um, they should be in your closet or somewhere else in the room. You'll then set those up about a bed frame apart. You'll then take your bracing piece, put it on the top uh, railing piece and hook it in. Then there's a no notch in the back that you're gonna slide in, which locks that in. You're gonna put pins in. This will hold the other bed, bed frame. You'll then grab the other bed frame, bring it up, and set it on top of the pin. Uh, once you've done that, you'll put the mattress back on. And then you just put on your ladder and you've made your bed. If you plan to loft or bunk your bed, the safety rail on the highest bed should be on the side facing into the center of the room. Washington State University does not recommend placing a bed along the window. If you do so, please ensure the built-in rail is on the side against the window. If you would like an additional rail of a different height for the other side of your bed, please submit a work order for one to be provided. So now that you've had your bed bunked and you're ready to unbunk it, um, basically you're gonna do it in the reverse order. Take your ladder off and set that to the side. You'll then come and remove the mattress. Once your mattress is off, you're gonna take the frame off and set that on the ground. The pins will then come out and those can again be set aside. You will unhook the pin and remove the bracing. That can just go on the floor behind where your bed will be. Uh, these extra frame pieces can be set to the side as well. And then just move your bed into place and put the mattress back on. And there you've debunked your bed. If you plan to put your unlofted bed parallel to a window, the permanent safety rail needs to be on the side against the window.